I just came from that road to come on to Ridgeview. And I just wanted you to get a view of the homes whenever you enter into the property. And there's nothing right here. And that's just a road that way. But there's the lake. And it looks a lot closer in person. So starting at the front of 200 Ridgeview in Branson West. And I just wanted to take a look over here so you could see what kind of decline the driveway is on right now. I think that you'll be fine still putting a boat in there, but that is, let me give a disclaimer, I am not a boater and I've never driven a boat on a trailer before. So that's just me guessing with my eyes. All right. Neighbors have a really pretty fountain over here. Nice big tree. Let's go inside. Tiled entry. Floor vents. Dining room off to the left. Luxury commercial carpeting in excellent condition. I haven't ran into any stains yet. Standard size closets. To the right here, we have a linen closet, coat closet, whatever you need it to be. Same tile flooring in the bathroom, single vanity. Everything seems to be in pretty good condition. Cabinets, no drawers. All right. Here is the second bedroom. Same standard closets. this view. I wonder if I could get any noisier boots or showings. <laughs> All right, let's go to 0.5 again so that you can get a 
bigger, well-rounded picture. Love these tall entryways. Honestly, my first impression of this house personally, just because you're not here, I walked in and I was like, oh, man, this is nice. It really is. It's got that feel when you walk in, you know, like, ta-da. Especially once you see the view from the deck. So here's the living room with your fireplace. Propane. So this fan is more of a cherry, the others are more of an oak. The ones in the bedrooms. All right, that's the first spot I see on the carpet, so. Could maybe use a little shampooing, but no biggie. All right, so we got a little kitchen nook here. Matching appliances. Everything's in really good condition. They took good care of the place. Uh, could just use some clocking there. Nice clean cabinets. Triton XL on the dishwasher, and this is your sink. And a lazy Susan. Susan, why are you so lazy? Oh, look at that. This is really nice, I love these. Okay. And again, so you so far have lake view from your living room, your kitchen, your kitchen nook, your second bedroom to the right of entering into the home. But let's go out on this deck. The camera makes it appear to be not as large as it looks in person. Oh, missed these extra cabinets. Oh, how can I overlook this? Just need some lining paper. Other than that, these are working good. It's a little tight, but it works. Same for the bottom one here, and these are regular shelves up there. Very nice. Okay, so back into the hallway. All right, so there's the entryway, the dining room, and my back is to the kitchen. This is the hallway leading to the primary bedroom. So walking down this hall and to the left, we've got your washer and dryer area here. And then the primary bedroom, again with the same matching carpet. The primary bedroom has access to the deck. It 
has lake view. And now into the primary bathroom. Double vanity. No chips or scratches, good condition. Got a nice walk-in shower here. Detachable shower head. Get a tub. Looks like a heat lamp up there. Private toilet area with an assistance handle. Built in shelves above the toilet in there. And then we are here in your walk-in closet. So here is the first area, and then you've got enough space here to build a bunch of shelves or whatever you can think up to navigate the amount of space you need here. All right, let's get going. All right, back through the laundry to the main hallway. Make a right and we are facing the garage that faces the street right here. And then down here, we have your basement. So let's go ahead and do the basement walk. Commercial carpeting, strong, sturdy carpet. All right, we've got the electrical panel here. seems to be labeled. And you can always screenshot this if you need it for anything I do close-ups. All right. Little bar with a mini fridge. And to the left is the first Workshop slash John Deere room where you can keep your riding lawn mower. Okay. And then we've got a storage area here. That leads into a small utility area. Hmm. There we go. The utility sink and some additional storage. Looks like a main water valve area. Your water shut off. Okay. We are downstairs in the basement. This is the downstairs living area. Now this living area actually happens to have a closet in it and a window. So if you really needed another bedroom, you could actually cut off part of this space, make that living space smaller, add a wall and a door. Bada bing, bada boom, you've got a bedroom here. All right, so living space here. There's a downstairs deck area also. And we will check that out here in a second. Let's keep circling around. This is an additional bedroom. Lake view as well. So upstairs has floor vents, downstairs has ceiling vents. All right, 
looks like we've got some linoleum down here, single vanity. area hot water heater water softener wonderful wonderful more storage space and TV in case you want to hang out down here Ayo. concrete wall that's nice lots of fun things in this place for everybody to do something if you all have any hobbies or interests of any sort. Okay, so let's look this deck area from here just because they have a stick down here. Let's pop it open. Okay. So this deck is painted with gray paint. Actually pretty nice. Okay. So you have lake views from both decks and both decks seem to be in sturdy condition just based upon me walking the floors. And if I was willing to share with you how much I weighed, you'd, you'd have a little more faith in me. <laughs> okay gonna beat the rain today all right so let's get back upstairs and go see the garage but before we do we'll make a pit stop here because I did want to show you where this leads out to just so that you know so as soon as you step out you've got your propane tank here for your fireplace your electric meter So you can actually drive that up this little driveway area. Okay. For the grand finale, the garage. <laughs> All right, we've got three stalls here, and I'm getting ready to measure these <clears throat> so that we can confirm whether the boat would fit in here or not. Attic access. All right, let's measure these and then finish the tour. And lastly, before we leave, we take a look over this side. This huge retaining wall. 